I was actually thinking about this, Rav, just uh, just to get this out of the way. What made you come up with the name Faith on the Line before we get to the really deep, um, interesting <laughs> subject? Because I was watching a Dennis Prager uh, segment on YouTube, and he referenced something called Religion on the Line. And I remember you saying you really dig Dennis Prager, so maybe it was there a connection to that? That's exactly where I got her from. Oh, nice. Yeah, for sure. I was the... Um, head of the Israel Dennis Prager group. This is over maybe 12 years ago, 10 years ago when I was living in Israel. And um, back then before there was Prager University, he had these Prager groups all over the world. So I was the one who started it in Israel and people from all over, from Beersheba, Tel Aviv, they'd come down to Yerushalayim about once a month. And uh, we'd have kind of like a little get together, discuss topics under the philosophy of Dennis Prager. And then he would even call in we'd have a, a live chat with Dennis Prager. And then um, being close with the producer, Alan Estrin, I was actually one of the founders of Prager U with Alan Estrin. It was Alan Estrin's idea, but I contacted him after hearing that he had this idea. And I said, you know what? I'm a programmer. I also do websites and everything. I'll do it for you. So that's what I did. I um, got Prager U up on my server for the first four years, absolutely free, and just to help them out. And then once they got so big, they went with some private firm. If you go to the, the way back internet search engine and type in Prager U, you'll see Asher Meza there as director of technology or something. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Dennis Prager. Are you currently involved in any sort of project similar to this currently? No, Anywhere else? I mean, I'm not working with Dennis Prager anymore. It's because I do my own thing. I make my own videos, so if I'm trying to promote anyone, I'll promote my stuff. But his show was, uh, most people don't know, he's a theologian as well. He spent most of his adolescence in yeshiva, and uh, he's not orthodox now. He's observant by different standards, but he started off on a religious show on radio called Religion on the Line, where he would get a priest, an imam, a pastor in a room and they would discuss topics from every religious perspective. The Muslim would give his perspective, the Catholic, the evangelical preacher, and then he'd sort of moderate. It was such a catchy line. I'm like, why not faith on the line instead of religion on the line? So that's what we did. Faith on the line. I appreciate that little insight. Um, I kind of figured I, I had a feeling, oh, I was so like giddy when I saw like Dennis Prager mentioned that I'm like, Oh, I bet that's where Harav Ashramaza got his uh, name from. So that's it's pretty cool. Welcome to the room, Julia Rachel. Thank, it's nice to see you. 